Welcome students. In this video, we are going to learn spin-spin coupling and also types of couplings. Now we see spin-spin coupling. The magnetic interaction between non-equivalent protons is known as spin-spin coupling. In earlier videos, we have seen what is meant by non-equivalent protons. Set of protons which come under resonance at different magnetic field strains are known as non-equivalent protons. In case of non-equivalent protons, they have different chemical and electronic environment. And the coupling always takes place between non-equivalent protons. In that case, the spin state of one set of protons affects on spin state of another set of protons that is nearby protons due to which splitting of signal takes place and that splitting of signal is also known as spin-spin splitting. Consider this molecule. Suppose HA and HB are the non-equivalent protons. The spin state of nucleus of proton A, it affects on spin state of proton B and the magnetic interaction takes place through electrons of intervening bonds and that magnetic interaction is known as spin-spin coupling. This interaction takes place through electrons of intervening bonds and not through space. That interaction takes place through intervening bonds and not through space. In that case, the bond is made up of electrons and the magnetic interaction takes place through electrons of intervening bonds. Then we see what is meant by spin-spin splitting. Due to spin-spin coupling, splitting of proton signal takes place. For example, spectra of ethanol. In case of ethanol, there are three set of protons. HA that is methyl group protons, HB that is methylene group protons and OH that is hydroxy group proton. As there are three set of protons in PMR spectra, we get three different signals. This is the spectra at low resolution. There are three signals for three set of protons, OH group proton, CH2 group proton, methyl group proton, and that is the signal for standard, that is TMS. It is observed that at low resolution, broad signals are seen in the spectra. These signals are broad in nature. We, when we take the spectra at high resolution, some signals are splitted into multiplets. And that splitting of signals is due to spin-spin coupling between non-equivalent protons. In that case, the coupling takes place between methyl and methylene group protons and the spin state of methyl group protons affects on spin state of methylene group protons and therefore methylene group signal is split into four lines. Similarly, spin state of methylene group proton affects on methyl group protons and the signal of methyl group is also split into three lines. And in that case, there is magnetic interaction between methyl and methylene group protons. It is observed that hydroxy group proton not couples with adjacent group protons or with nearby non-equivalent protons. This is because OH group protons are fast exchanging group proton. Therefore, it not couples with adjacent group proton. Therefore, the OH group signal is not splitted into multiplet and such type of splitting of signal is known as spin-spin splitting and that splitting takes place due to magnetic interaction between non-equivalent protons known as coupling. Now we see what are the types of couplings. The coupling that causes splitting of signal into multiplets are of following types. In case of PMR spectra, the coupling between two protons are of three types. First is vicinal coupling, the next one is geminal coupling and long range coupling. 
फर्स्ट वी सी फिसिनल कपलिंग द कपलिंग बिटवीन नॉन इक्वल एंड प्रोटॉन्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट ऑन एडजेसेंट कार्बन एटम्स इज नोन एज फिसिनल कपलिंग दैट इज दिस प्रोटॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन फिसिनल पोजीशंस दिस प्रोटॉन्स आर सेपरेटेड बाय थ्री बॉन्ड्स देयरफॉर फिसिनल कपलिंग इज आल्सो नोन एज थ्री बॉन्ड कपलिंग दैट इज 3j कपलिंग H A and H B these are the non-equivalent protons and they are present on adjacent carbon atoms. Therefore, the coupling between these two protons is of the type vicinal coupling. These protons are separated by three bonds, one, two, and three. These protons are separated by three bonds. Therefore, it is also known as three J coupling. For example, ethyl chloride. in case of ethyl chloride ch3 ch2cl there are two set of protons that is methyl group proton a type and that is methylene group proton and the coupling between methyl and methylene group proton is of the type fissional coupling because ha and hb proton these protons are separated by three bonds always remember that the coupling not takes place between equivalent protons there is no coupling between ha and ha but there is a coupling between ha and hb the coupling not takes place between equivalent protons because these protons come under resonance at the same time or simultaneously therefore the coupling always takes place between non equivalent protons and when protons are present on adjacent carbon atoms that coupling is known as vicinal coupling then next type is geminal coupling the coupling between non equivalent protons which are present on same carbon atom is known as geminal coupling these protons are separated by two bonds therefore it is also known as two bond coupling H A and H B are the non-equal protons, and these are present on same carbon atom. And the coupling between them is known as geminal coupling. These protons are separated by two bonds. Therefore, it is 2J coupling. For example, cyclohexane. This is a cyclohexane molecule, but for cyclohexane, the structure is not planar, and the more stable form is the chair form and in chair form each carbon bears two hydrogen atoms out of that one hydrogen is at axial position and one hydrogen atom is at equatorial position and axial and equatorial protons at low temperature they are non equivalent and the coupling between axial and equatorial proton is of the type geminal coupling that is non equal protons present on same carbon atom and the coupling between them is known as geminal coupling then third type is long range coupling the coupling between non equal protons which are separated by four or more than four bonds is known as long range coupling this is the structure in that case ha and hb are the non equal protons and these protons are separated by four bonds in that case ha and hb in between them there is a pi bond generally long range coupling is generally seen in case of unsaturated compounds when pi bond is in between the intervening bonds then such type of coupling is possible for example this is the benzene ring and ha and hb suppose they are non equivalent protons and when they are non equivalent these protons are present at meta position and that meta coupling is of the type long range coupling because ha and hb are separated by four bonds the coupling between ha and hb is of the type long range coupling or 4j coupling if hb proton is present at para position 
If it is present at para position, then that coupling is phi j coupling or para coupling. This is also the of the type long range coupling. Thus, the coupling takes place through electrons of intervening bonds. And as the number of intervening bonds between non-equivalent protons increases, coupling decreases. Now we see the summary of that point. The magnetic interaction between non-equivalent protons is known as spin-spin coupling. The coupling always takes place between non-equivalent protons. The coupling takes place through electrons of intervening bonds and not through space. Due to coupling, splitting of signal into multiplets takes place. When signal splitted into more than one, that is, uh, it can be splitted into two, three, four, then that signal is known as multiplet. The coupling between non equal protons are of three types vicinal, geminal, and long range coupling. This is all about spin spin coupling and spin spin splitting. Thank you for watching this video.